So, Miss Lily, if the doctor clears you to go back to St. Dominic's today, then we'll try to get you over there today, okay? Thank you, Mom. Okay, yes, yes. ma'am. That okay with you? All right. Having to accommodate patients that are coming in surgically is a daily process for us. Okay, so we're playing for Friday. It can be a little stressful, and it, it can also teach you how to think outside the box, looking for different ways to make it work and make it work safely for the patient as well as the staff. It's just stressful, but it's rewarding. So we got to get at least seven discharges. Currently now I am 13 beds short for today. So seven discharges. At least. <laughs> May, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm 12 beds short. We're gonna see what, what we type can of do. magic we can make. We out. can razzle dazzle something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 48. She did get a steroid injection in her right. That is my stressor of the day is how many beds will I need today and will I be able to make the beds? That's my number one goal. That's the purpose of our CCR rounds to see where it is I can kind of input, say, hey, no, this patient can go today. Tell the nurse, hey, reach out to this doctor so we can kind of get these discharges out. Quita is resourceful. Although she is our manager, she's willing to jump in and help at any moment. Quita is hilarious. You can always count on her to deliver humor at the right time, um, especially when we're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. I love working with Quita. I knew her since she was a floor nurse. And now as a manager, she does a good job at keeping the cohesiveness of the nurses and the therapists. We go back about 20 years, Quita and I, when she was a student nurse, she was here and we had our first code together in a patient room and we did, we always tease each other about it because that was my first code and hers and I thought we did real good. She's come up, she's a very good nurse and she's a good nursing manager. 67 is getting ready to go. So as soon as we see them, as soon as one of the nurses sees My name is Requita Jacobs. I work on Dunn 7 East and I am the nurse manager for the unit. My favorite part of the job is the CCR rounds because I get a chance to meet each individual every day. Care coordination rounds where we go from room to room, we discuss the patient's plan of care, uh, we find out how they are enjoying their visit, if there are any questions or concerns that they may have for us at that time as far as how their care is progressing or what's the next thing on the agenda as far as getting them either from ho to home or to a facility. Where are we starting with you, Nurse Madeline? 70 home. You ready for us? Yeah, for CCR rounds. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm the feature for the day. Mr. Bosher was one of our frequent flyers. He had been on the unit multiple times for the same situation on the same extremity, rather it would be an explant, which is taking out the prosthesis and, you know, probably putting a spacer in or something in because his, his prosthesis was infected. So, Mr. Bocher, I know you've had antibiotics at home before. You've had it in the past, correct? What? Home IV antibiotics. One where the IV was done in my arm. Right. And I've had one where the IV was done in my pick line. Right. So, you know, we're, but the thing was is that the pick line wasn't long enough. I had to have them put an extension right. on there. You know, that sometimes I guess they forget that I don't have... You know, I don't have anybody there except myself. Right. So if you're gonna go home after this? No, this I'm gonna stay here as long as I can. I know, but if it, once you're getting ready to move to the next phase, they'll make sure they come in and put an extension that'd on there if you're gonna go yeah, home. That'd be awesome. But I think Jasmine has to come back and talk See to you a little bit more here. about sure. uh, yeah. some skilled yeah. nursing facilities yeah. if we have to go that route. Well, we're on the same page there, I mean. Okay. So yeah. That, Any other questions or concerns? Uh, obviously, I'd like to stay here as long as possible because of the uh, nursing staff and the doctors that we have and the people on staff here are so good. If I do leave, you know, I want to make sure that everything 
is in line with what I'm doing. Mr. Bosch, you've been through a lot, and some, and I, I get it. Sometimes when you're having to be in and out of the hospital as much as he is, sometimes your attitude is not always going to be the best. And so it's up to me as the leader of the unit to understand that and just kind of work around it and help the staff not kind of navigate it. So today is difficult because we had to find 11 beds. Um, and just so happened, a lot of our patients that we were anticipating on leaving are having to stay for various reasons, whether it being insurance authorization hadn't come through or the bed availability at the facility that they're going to isn't available or either insurance just saying no and so we have to find another facility. So as we go through the report out, any barriers, we want to speak up about those. I done seven east and west, the numbers are correct. Um, west side has reached out to um, main three pack. It will be open today for extended recovery. The bed meeting is called the HCAPS bed huddle. Um, and it's just a meeting of the managers from the departments in the hospital and we all get together. And if there are any problems or any needs that the unit may have and another unit or another ancillary staff can provide assistance and that, that would be the place to kind of foresee that. So that way in real time we can fix it and kind of get it fixed quickly. Yes, let me help you. So Roberta just announced downstairs in the meeting that if we have anybody that's pending sniff, sniff approval or like waiting to go to a community sniff, then they'll be going to, we can probably transport them to ALCAC 7. They're going to open up this. We have like a lot of people down in the ED, some people holding as long as, I think she said 36 hours. The ED is yeah. usually full or has been holding a lot of patients. And, you know, so that the patients benefit from a good experience being here, they come here to Methodist and expecting a certain caliber of care. And they can't really get it if they're staying in the ED for two and three days. So I have a sister unit done seven West, which is used to what we call our overflow unit. Um, and so we had to overflow our orthopedic patients to that unit. And believe it or not, some of the patients we anticipated to come actually end up going home. Looky, looky, you're out of uniform. Any questions or concerns before you go? No, I'm good. No, okay. Just checking on you. <laughs> It's like a jigsaw puzzle. We all kind of move pieces around how we need to move pieces and, and we just make it work. I do whatever I can do. I plug in where I'm needed. Stripping down a bit so housekeeping can get it clean quicker. The patient needs to have an IV removed so they can go. Then by all means, that's what I'll do. See you guys later. I feel good most days. Some days I don't really want to leave, but I know work-life balance is very important. And if I don't leave and, and recover myself for the next day, then I won't be any good. So sometimes I leave and I go sit in the car in the garage and I'll sit there for a minute or two, wishing or hoping that no one's needing me at the moment or should I go back and check on the unit or should I call before I leave maybe something's happened not that my staff can't handle it it's just that I like to be there in the mix with them to kind of help work through certain things so but I, I feel I feel tired when I get ready to go home <laughs> but it's a it's a good tired ready to come back the next day <laughs>